which is it, it which, which is it for you dr badaya do you think the government is unwilling or unable to protect the people of southern kaduna in fact it is not only unable it is unwilling and we have good reason to feel that they are part and parcel of the killers let me make some revelations to you that's a very big al- that's a very big allegation dr obadaya the government is part and parcel of of the killers yes. that, that's big yes yeah. okay how would the government just say oh it is a revenge killing and so on then you leave it there oh because it is a revenge killing and so on and so forth the body language of this administration the body language of the state government shows clearly that they have a hand in the killings no doubt about it because you see general abacha Hmm. and people don't give him his due. Do you think you'd have tolerated such nonsense? And let me make some revelations, because some of us also have our own intelligence networks. Okay, okay. We have met with some of the bandits. We have met with some of their high commanders, one or two who have repented. They have sat down with us, not once, not twice. They told us that one of the northern governors is the commander of Boko Haram in Nigeria. Boko Haram and the bandits are one and the same thing. They have a sophisticated network. Mm. During this lockdown, their planes were moving up and down as though there was no lockdown. Moving ammunition, moving logistics, moving money, and distributing them in different parts of the country. They are already in the south, in the rainforest of the south. They are everywhere. They told us that when they finish these rural killings, they will move to phase two. The phase two is they will go into the urban cities, going from house to house, killing prominent people. I can tell you, this is the game plan. By 2022, they want to start a civil war in Nigeria.